Let me be clear here. The threat to democracy has nothing to do with traditional partisan lines or policy preferences. What's being challenged are the foundational principles of democracy itself. So that's the reason for this forum. We thought it was time for us to sharpen our focus on what's happening to democracy today. We are here in New York City, joined by folks from around the world, young leaders who have not only identified threats to the democracy, but more importantly, come up with solutions to help strengthen those democracies. It's the first uh, democracy forum, and I'm really excited to hear more about how democracy is evolving in other places of the world. True democracy, to me, is the diversity in thought. Giving a chance for everybody to speak their truth. It's like a puzzle piece. You need all the pieces in order to make it complete. We need to develop understandings around democracy at a young age. We need our young men to have access to forums like this, to people like this, not only on the stage, but off the stage, to really make change in their own lives, in their own communities. A common thread is how do we get people more engaged and more involved in the decisions and forces that are shaping their lives. How do you make democratic values and forces work? I'm really confident, I guess, as humans that we can work together to solve climate change. But I guess my fear is that it's gonna take us too long. So what is your advice around how we can continue to work to solve climate action, but just go faster? Well, that's the $24,000 question. <laughs> The most important thing is not to succumb to hopelessness. Every bit we do to slow the warming of the planet will translate into lives saved, environments preserved, and will buy us time. We thought it was important at a time when a lot of values are under assault or being questioned to try to select a few topics for this inaugural democracy forum that hopefully will help inform the day-to-day -day work that a lot of our leaders are doing. The key for me has been creating the opportunities for people to get to know each other. It's human relationships that so often get people into hate movements. And it's human relationships that I know can get people out. Misinformation, disinformation, this didn't start with the internet, right? This is a, a pattern and a playbook that predates that. Covering truth is not partisan. I'm asking that we be more self-critical if you want to have a multiracial democracy, people need to feel that their work has dignity and they have opportunity economically. This should be the path forward, making people feel that whatever we're having now is the responsibility of everyone. I think one of the most incredible opportunities at events like this is the people that you talk to and I think that's where ideas really grow. It was like really touching to hear everything that like you had to say. You know on the surface we're very very different but at the end of the day like we want to help people. I think it's really great to have that support system if people you just met because we're having a shared experience. The good news is we're just scratching the surface of what this next generation is capable of. In fact uh, today I'm happy to announce that we will be launching a new and expanded Leaders USA program in the coming months that can help more young people put their idealism to work. We've been helping to train and connect a whole bunch of leaders here in the U.S., both through our Scholars Program or My Brother's Keeper initiatives. What we haven't done as systematically is get people a way in which they can come together and support their various initiatives across sectors. And Given how successful the programs we've initiated in other places have been, we thought, let's make sure that we're giving as many opportunities as possible to young leaders here in the U.S. as well who are eager to bring about change. Uh, so we're really excited about Leaders USA. The Leaders Program is a life-changing opportunity. I've been able to connect with people from all around the world. If you're looking for an opportunity to expand your horizon, it's important that you participate in this leadership joining. None of this will be easy. Renewing our democratic culture will take decades and not years. And that is why the ideas and insights of a new generation of leaders will be the ones that carry democracy's torch into the future.